day number seven of juicing in the mail. I felt great. Oh, I've been feeling great all day. I was in the house cooking most of the day. And we invited my wife's father over for dinner. I did eat dinner myself with them. So I did have ham and Cornish hens along with um, stuffing, grains, um, potato salad, and something else I can't remember. That's, that's probably it. That's probably about it. But um, it was a nice dinner. Felt good to eat a full meal for a change because I have I am watching what I eat, so I, I don't get to eat as heavy. And that really wasn't a lot of food that I ate anyway. I ate, you know, the portion control as well with it, so I ate enough that um I was satisfied, but not being full and lazy and having itis. But the kids, on the other hand, the motherfuckers ate themselves until they basically pass out. But now the kids are up again if you can hear them over top of me. And they just rumbling and tumbling upstairs. Um, this video ain't gonna be but so much so long, you know. I just wanted to keep you updated and I wanted to be honest about, you know, how my days are going and what I'm eating. Instead of me just saying, hey, I'm just juicing it and just saying I ate ate healthy. No, I ate I ate some ham. I ate some Cornish hens. I ate some greens, some potato salad. Macaroni and cheese. I ate a couple pieces of candy too. This is fucking Easter. I haven't enjoyed the Easter dinner in a long time because generally I'm the person feeding everybody, cutting up the meat, serving and everything, and I don't get a chance to sit down to eat until everybody has left the house. And to this day, nobody was over here but my father-in-law, which felt good. He came over here, we watched the women's um, NCAA championship game, and then everybody ate, and then after that he left. And the kids went upstairs and went basically laid down until they got that um, itis up off of them because they was done. Um, I'm sitting, currently sitting in the basement, as y'all can see my my stuff sitting in the basement. I did go through a lot of my stuff, and I have tote for stuff in totes. My wife still some of the stuff in my wife's classroom is here. You know, that's a crafting box where she paints some of my stuff and my posters. So I still got stuff to clean up, but. I did clean my floors up, if you can see. Oh, it used to be full of games right there. And now I just got to put these Wii accessories up with a Wii, with the three Wiis I got and some games, and I'm going to sell that off. The PS2 for my homeboy is over there as well. And that's the tote full of games that I'm selling. It's all PS, PS1, PS2. Some PS3, Wii, GameCube, and I'm going to add some Wii U games in a few. So it's going to be a whole bunch of rare games to pair up with different systems that I have in here. And I will be selling a Wii U, but that's going to be a little pricey because the gamepad alone goes for $90. And the Wii U itself is like $60. So at the least, I'm a, a Wii U is going to start out probably like $125, $130. And then, um, depending on what games I pay for it, I'm trying to aim for the $200 mark with the system. So I'm trying not to nickel and dime. And it's going to be some good games. Uh, more than likely, it'll be um, Zombie U, um, Mario Kart 8, Smash Bros. U, Wii U, um, Nintendo Land. And some other games. I'm just looking to see what I have duplicates of. But I still have duplicates sitting on um stacked right in front of that shelf. So once I go through all that, I'll go ahead and pair them up so I can sell it off. Yeah. And that'll be about it. Sorry it's been taking so long for me to get this shit together. But I mean, life been happening. So it's a lot of stuff I've been doing that's been just keeping me distracted from getting my basement in order and getting these games up up and out and so so i apologize for everybody who i said i'll get i'll get them some stuff so i can um so they can buy it i'm trying my best to get that shit together and i should be ha have everything together tomorrow um i do gotta go to work in the morning so i'm not gonna be up any much longer it's 10 37 right now i just figured i will get this video done once i finish cleaning the kitchen the dining room and the living room which i am so you know remember Follow Anchor Gamers 
on Instagram, YouTube, Melee, and Twitch. Follow me, SAK211L, on Yahoo. I'm actually going to say Yahoo. YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, Melee, and TikTok. Go to anchorgaming.com and buy some merchandise. We have some great some great um, gamers jerseys, other accessories, and other merchandise. Come join Anchor Gaming. Come support the community. Come become a part of the community. Come gain with us. We have people from all walks of life, all places around the country. So you can play with people you might not ever get to interact with. And they might whip your ass too. I ain't going to say might. We got some great gamers. They going to whip your ass. So if you want to um, be competitive and join a team where everybody show each other love, come join Anchor Gaming. Y'all have a great day.